The 2015 ITM Cup is proudly brought to you by the Tui Brewery. Friday night footy, round six of the ITM Cup for 2015 comes to you from Yarrow Stadium in New Plymouth this evening. It's been a cool and crisp day in the Naki today. A little bit of rain earlier, but not too much. And a slippery deck for both of these teams to play on tonight. Here's the greatest fan of them all. Taking up his usual position in the corner of the ground here. Yes, welcome to Sky Sport. As our coverage of the great ITM Cup continues. And a good crowd building as well ahead of this. The Ryan Wheeler Memorial match between Taranaki, the defending Premiership champions, and Waikato, for whom tonight shapes as possibly a season-defining match. And here is the Waikato side. You'll notice the big change at number nine. No Brad Webber this evening. He's ailing from some form of illness. Harrison Levian comes in for his first start in Waikato colours tonight. A big front row, Uhila, Fiver, and Honick with Tucker and Morgan, Douglas Capelli and Byrne, the Ford pack. Jordan Payne and Leonard Brown, the midfield. Sean Stevenson moves to the wing. Damian McKenzie to fullback. And Regan Weir comes in for his first start tonight as we go in the sheds. Put a shirt on, Beaver Donald. For goodness sake, the man loves a muffin. Craig Dow joins us in commentary tonight. Dowdy, I'm looking forward to this because two teams that really want to show what they've got ball in hand. Yeah, no, absolutely. Provincial Rugby's finest, and obviously last last year's champions, Taranaki, and a very solid front row with Graham Marshall and Toval, and a good steady forward pack there, and of course, uh, Bernie Hall, he's on form at seven. Marty McKenzie at ten, and look at that midfield. Natai and Tommy Avula, it's a dangerous midfield, and it's going to cause all sorts of trouble for Waikato tonight. Well, we saw some of the glimpses of Seda Tamanivalu last week against uh, Bay of Plenty and uh, Carl Tanana joins us sideline. KT, a little bit of drizzle about? Yeah, it just started about five minutes before kickoff there, Sumo. So there will be uh, a bit of dew on the deck, have you just highlighted in the build up there, but no wind whatsoever. So other than that, I think the boys will be able to handle it. Beautiful deck here at Yarrow Stadium. Fetu Douglas, the man charged with leading this team out. Well, no Brad Weber. That has thrown a spanner in the works for Sean Botherway and his team today because they are starting with Harwitter at first 5'8", and he would have enjoyed having Weber's experience at number nine tonight, not to beat. Harrison Levian, Dowdy, has played just 10 minutes of ITM Cup rugby, and it is a big job for him tonight. There is the skip looking fairly focused, and Harrison, of course, played for the New Zealand under-20s. He was up there against his opposite tonight, and with his opposite tonight, well, it's all about giving these guys the opportunity, isn't it? Then the ITM Cup is a, no better place to do it. He's given the big stage. Obviously, Brad Webber will be missed, but uh, one man's uh, when he misses out, it's another man's opportunity, isn't it? Big night for Tao Maranui tonight. That's Harrison Levian's hometown. In fact, he was a student of Ngakonui Valley Primary School. Hello to all the kids from that school watching tonight. Great occasion for Harrison Levian making his starting debut for Waikato. It was always his aim to be a part of this ITM Cup squad. And a big cheer goes up as Taranaki are led onto the field here at Yarrows by Charlie Ngartai. He has been at his classy best again this season. 47 carries for Charlie for 314 metres, but they're good metres. They're intelligent metres and his kicking game to the fore as well. This kid here tonight, big job, Dowdy. Yeah, no, big job. You're quite right. Two up-and-coming nines marking each other. But you're right about Charlie Nartai. He's just the cement and in, in, in the brick and mortar of, of this Taranaki side. He directs them around the, around the park beautifully. And he leads. He's a, he's a great captain. He's obviously got the respect. They just know they know this guy's class. Triple T, they call him. Titoirua Tahuriorangi. And he'll enjoy coming in up to this game and locking horns with his old under-20s teammate, Harrison Levian. And the ball deliverer today, Becky Broughton, out of Harwood Intermediate School. And it will be Damian McKenzie to receive that and a handshake. And we're all set to go here. 
Friday night ITM Cup Rugby live on Sky Sport. Sport. We send our best wishes to all our viewers around the globe and especially those in England. We look forward to the opening of the Rugby World Cup overnight New Zealand time. I'm sure you will put on a great tournament and it's going to be wonderful to watch. Shane McDermott, the referee this evening, hasn't refereed since round two, Shane. Charlie. Got plenty of experience for him. Me too. Um, just wait for the whistle and behind the line, please. Thank you. Mackenzie gets us underway. Waikato have enjoyed plenty of victories on this park over the last 15 years. In fact, Taranaki has not beaten Waikato at Yarrow Stadium since 2000. Bernie Hall on a big card early. Good intent from the number seven. And it's Matai. First kick of the match, and they'll come back for the pin. Well, that's a great I start. What a good run from Bernie Hall. He really put the put the gas on, then he made a, made a nice little break. Of course, just getting the penalty there for Taranaki. A good chance for them to clear their danger zone and put some pressure on back onto Waikato. Stephen Dunnard watches on. Warmed up for 19 minutes last week. Reckons he might bring that down to 15 this week. It was a bit scrappy from that kickoff for Taranaki Sumo, but I think that's where they're going to test this young Waikato team. That's up front, trying to go up the middle of the park and see if Waikato can stand up to them there. So much to prove for Colin Cooper's men. I know Willie Rickards was in charge of talking to the team before the game today. This is a Taranaki side, you'll recall, started very slowly this season, but inch by inch, metre by metre, they have found their way back into some form as Tahuri Orangi finds Ngatai. Watch out, Faranui Hawara. They are coming at you all day long. And there is Sita Tamani Valu, taken in a good tackle by Byrne. Byrne made a very good return to top flight rugby against Southland. And let's not forget an eight-day turnaround for Waikato as well. Taranaki on a six-day turnaround. So fresh legs in the Waikato pack, but they're going to have to use them here as Tua Halafihi carries well up to the 22. Great. They stay blindside. Setter Tamarivalu was there. And happy to shovel the ball on early, Setter. Back for Reese Marshall and Rugby Reese will set play again inside the 22. Cody Ray feeds it up. Bernie Hall is there. This is good from Taranaki early in the match. And a good run too from Mitchell Brown. They stay blind. Taranaki's defence up to the task. Still 20 metres out from the Waikato line as Graham lines up again. Byrne makes another tackle. Tahuri Orangi. Taoval. Now McKenzie. And Josh Honnick says stop right there. Advantage applying now as Tamani Valu is pushed back outside the 22. McKenzie. Again, McKenzie hit hard. Shane McDermott comes back for the high shot. Well, he's got him on the high shot. It, uh, it doesn't look right when you see McKenzie running into some of those big men because he's not a big man himself, but uh, a little bit too high. And more. Hey, um, we've we'll had get two. Get the so reward. whether he's falling or not, it was a great build-up though from Taranaki, wasn't it? This is what we used to call the old zigzag in North Harbour. Would have one pod set on the far side of the field near the touchline, the other one on the 15 metre, and just keep it to your strengths. Hit up, hit up, hit up until the backs call that last ball in the 22. But sustained pressure from Taranaki. This is just the back end of it. Well, I don't know. You know, the attack was being made there, and he. Oh yeah, no, that's uh, sort of around the shoulders. I'll say nothing. <laughs> Cody Ray with the first shot of the game, however. Interesting though, Marty McKenzie not kicking. Last couple of weeks, that's been Cody Ray. And I wonder whether this team will enjoy Marty McKenzie for the remainder of the season. Rumor has it he will require a surgery. Cody Ray makes no uh, mistake. Three Cody points to nil, the home side in front here on Friday Night Footy. Josh Holland can't believe it. It's every prop's dream down to seeing a 10 running straight at you. Yeah. That's right. Well, it looks quite wrong when a prop hits a 10, doesn't it? Especially hard. Big well, mistake. That's, that's not a great start. 
Speaking of props, the Taranaki team and one of their strengths is they, they actually get all of their front row and at first receiver and, and ball carriers. They can catch and pass and they can run and that's actually dangerous when you get big men like that first to actually one, do things uh, a little bit different from just scrummaging. A very tough place to defend here for Waikato. Toyoro Tauroirangi is so quick off the base of the scrum so if they get anywhere near a decent platform you see they stack the left hand side it's going to be dangerous Crouch. big numbers on the left hand Fine. side Ngatai and Tamani Valu nearest Six. Oh. and Baker ranging wide on the right we'll have to get the scrum sorted early though big bell in the front row tonight Lonnie Uhila back into the team as a specialist loose header ahead of Ben Tamifuna. Maybe an indication from Sean, by the way, that just knew against a, a player as good as Angus Tauval that they wanted that specialist there. Yeah, no. They've all actually been scrummaging very well. The Taranaki scrum's gone well, but this is a, a very good Waikato front row too. And uh, Crouch. sometimes having the specialist there Up. is what you need. Crouch. A lot of pressure in that Bones. last one. It, it just folded. There was no intention from either side. Sit. Hold up. Second best scrum percentage in the tournament, Taranaki. Sorry, Waikato please. rated fifth no, 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 so no. far this season. I want space, but I want A couple of resets early. Five, almost want, six minutes gone lights. here. And just a single penalty to Cody Sorry, Ray off a Josh Honnick high shot. Well, you've got to say, we're going to need a clean scrum this time. Otherwise, uh, first opportunity to give a free kick or a penalty Crouch. the referee's going to have to lay his I suppose his Bones. discipline down Sit. <laughs> there's the penalty Sam McDermott Long running out of patience says we couldn't get a first scrum completed he's on his arm and his height Gustavo the man penalised by McDermott and Harrison Levian that was well controlled by Shane Dermott there. He actually let, let it go twice. He gave them warning and he had to do something on the third scrum. Shots called. And Tottenham was the first one to go down, so. Uh, you're right in here, so. Tell you what, Damien McKenzie uh, lining up from 50 KT. That's a brave move. Yeah, he's going to have to hit it nice and sweet. I mean, there is a little bit of a breeze, if anything, that will be behind him here. But I think for Waikato, it's just a bit of a reset. They haven't had any of the ball. They've been in their quarter or their own half for the start of this game. So maybe just either way, they're going to get in Taranaki territory or come away with points. KT, his, his, T is, his, uh, his knee is very well taped, though. You can always get a bit more power when you when you tape your knee up. Is that a plug for some particular tape? It looks very, um, very good. Regardless of the tape, he was perfect last week. Take some credit for that, Downey, I'm sure. But it was a wonderful night off the tee for Damian McKenzie. This tough chance first up. Gave it a thump to Damian McKenzie, and it's just short. Direction good. Obviously got the wrong tape on. Get him behind your team. Get him all behind you. Back. Back. Sorry, I saw that. Back, back, back. It's interesting for me, the penalty seemed to have been awarded on the halfway line, and Damian McKenzie thought he had just had a couple for the challenge. Here he is, however, this time with the bomb. Good distance from him as well, chaseable, but Big Brother swallows that. Ivana's lost fourth. And then loses it in contact. And here goes the Tongan Bear. Uhila. Sets just short of the 22. Douglas. Douglas is wrapped up again. Just short of the red zone as Harrison Levian finally picks up and finds Capelli. Pick and go for Hami Fiver. Hold black! Tananaki's fringe defence very well organised and has been all Two. season. Mustaval on this Use side it. making the tackle. Okay, finding progress difficult at the moment. Mitch Croswell came in to disrupt late as Fidu Douglas again takes the ball up and has stopped short of the 22 metre line. Tucker. Now some freedom. 
Jordan Payne takes the header. The swing left through Morgan now. Levian. Josh Honnick tried to run a play and instead took the contact. Uhila goes backwards to Levian again. Now here is Harwitter. He's in the right part of the country for his surname. And this one is lost. Shane McDermott will call a knock on and the penalty on an offside play. Number one in front. Offside. Well, it was good defence from Taranaki there. There were some, certainly some big collisions, but they muscled up and they kept Waikato at bay. But I still want you higher. It was a big run from Mahula, wasn't it? Getting the open space out there. Here we just see the pale end of it. Jeez. Boys. Maybe I'm coming at this from a different perspective, but it didn't look offside Hooker. to me. Hooker. All right, the ball's not in yet. Be quiet, lads. Really got to stop sitting on a lean. That didn't look particularly straight, but... That's in the water down here. They set the drive, Taranaki. Waikato's first incursion into the Taranaki half comes up empty handed. Now it's the home side back on attack. That was a good run, too, from Hanafi. Wits now, Ngatai. Beautiful ball wide for Vainu. Latu. Now a short side dart. Vainu again. Croswell into the tackle of Tucker. Tahuri Orangi. Now McKenzie held the pass up and set it to Mani Valu, bumped him off and everyone else. Penalty. Waikato holding on. 13 holding on. Put it down, five. Let's back over here, sorry. Would have to say, Sumo, great defence by both teams in their own holding 22 on. there. Waikato. Very no. strong coming forward, great line speed, and well, they know this guy. They had to mark him up nicely, and they send a couple of numbers here. Well, well, there was no hole for him, was there, KG? He ran straight into uh, the Waikato defence, and they nailed him. And of course, they had the numbers there to get on the ball very, very quickly. Here we see the break off the back. That was a great carry. Right. Taranaki's back line, KT, always looks dangerous when Kurt Baker is in the line running off the likes of Charlie Ngatai. Yeah, and he's confident at the moment. That's the thing for me, Sumo. Kurt Baker, when he's in that mood, you know, anything's possible with that kid. Use it! Tahuri Urangi now gets the ball out. McKenzie. Here's Baker, again up from fullback, evades the first, that was Capelli, and eventually makes the turnover play. Regan Weir now, steps out of two, oh what a play! First chance of the season for Regan, and he comes up with the first try of the match. Well, turnover ball, it's so dangerous, isn't it? There's a nice little turnover by Waikato. Tim, are you there? I think we're just going to see if it was a legal turnover. Yeah, so what I'm, what I'm looking for is lost forward by gold. Is there a potential knock-on for white before they come through and score the try? So we're looking for the knock-on from the Waikato team. Obviously there is one from the Taranaki side. Off the floor. Off the floor. That's come off the knee. That's fair play. Great fend on the face of Sid at the Mani Valley. There's no hands involved there. And look at the way that Anton Leonard Brown dropped back behind the player in order to make that pick up. That is great work from Anton Leonard Brown. Yes. There's the awareness from Leonard Brown to get behind the player. Yes, I can. I've got the gold player knocking it on and no try, it's a knock on from White. Well, I think uh, the knee is considered. Go to the textbook, the law from, from shoulder to knee. 
Oh, now you're kidding me. Uh, you are kidding me. Yeah, it came about when the Carlos Spencer knee kick, if you remember that. Hang on. Technically, there's it's no, a... There's no way that that is a knock-on. If it comes with a player's knee and goes without backwards. touching a hand. Oh, what game are we watching here? How is that a knock-on? Hey, hey. Scrum, boys. Yeah, well, quite right. It should be Waikato ball at least because Taranaki were the first to make the knock on. And they don't even get to put into the scrum. Crouch! Bind! Sit! Up, up. Tahori Orangi from the base of the scrum finds Charlie Ngata again with the kick Charlie this one straight down to Damian McKenzie all the talk this week about his positional switch and perhaps that's why an indication they just want to be able to clear their turf Damian McKenzie so good from broken play but also a great kicking option Stevenson now no stranger to fullback and he makes good contact bananas this one into touch on with the job they go Bainal threw it in, and Baker now goes high. Hang on direction from Kurt Baker, and the bounce is into touch. Anyway, and play on. Well, just a bit hesitant, I think, uh, Kurt there after that last time he tried to take on the line and turn the ball over. He had a little sniff and then try to put the up and under late, so in decisive there. Good opportunity here for Waikato to try and press them. Put some pressure on them. Tahuri Orangi. It's a good kick from him. Pressure is on. And a good chase as well. It's a big night for the young halfback. He's up against an absolute rookie on the other side and Harrison Levian. Former New Zealand teammate. And he will know that he can exert some real pressure now. And Titoiroa. Marty McKenzie standing deep and he punches this long. Too long from Marty McKenzie. And that is over the dead ball line. Still rolling? Oh, I don't think that was rolling. I think it stopped and he put his foot across and picked it up. How often do you think the McKenzie boys went out there and played force back against each other? I think it's... Oh. Just... <laughs> Marty thought he had a case. Bit of height, huh? Gave it a great result, thump though, KT. Give him that. Yeah, nice and low, wasn't it? Sumo just needed the right hand break there. But look, that's the great shot. That's the matchup they want. He knows where his brother's going to be. Looking forward to this one all night long. All the wraps on this kid here, but guy on jersey number 10. Don't forget about me, you reckon? Levian feeds. Well, the scrum is up and they have to come off the back and do so now. It's lost forward. Big turnover play at scrum time. Marty McKenzie feeds it straight to Ngatai. And Damien McKenzie in good position. Saw the kick coming. And didn't see setter. Now gets rid of it. And Harrison Levian under all sorts. That's another penalty. Second time in the game. Waikato have been done for an offside. Offside. It's a reaction thing, isn't it? It's a hard one, that one, but uh, the letter of the law, you're offside. Hey, nine. Nine. Marty and McKenzie, he's, both McKenzie's are on fire tonight, but there, of course, ball comes flying out of his hands. Well, this is all coming down to the game plan, isn't it, though, Dowdy? Charlie Natai just punching the ball right down. Just willing Damien McKenzie to run. It was a nice tackle, too, by the centre. Set to, set to Tamani Valu, showing a lot of enthusiasm to get down there in the line speed. Just did it all after that. Cody Ray lines up for his second. This one a little tougher than the first. They're hustling. There's no doubt about that. You can see what it meant to Reese Marshall and Mitch Graham as well.
Kick from right, and that's three more in the bank for the home side. 6-0 now the score. Yeah, I think the key word there, Sumo, you used it yourself, the hustle. You put the kick down there, you put pressure on, you get around around the ball and you make them make mistakes, and that's exactly what Taranaki do. It's a big carrying team, Taranaki, as well. They come into this rank sixth in terms of carries and sixth in terms of metres gain this year in the competition. Waikato slightly back in both of those departments. A long way back, in fact, in terms of the carries. Kurt Baker now. Tries to evade Harmi Fiver, who had a second and third crack at him. And Charlie Ngartai again clears for touch. How much pressure does Charlie Ngartai take off Marty McKenzie? It's yeah, kicking got, game. He reads the game very, very well. He And he, he does what a centre should do, as he brings his, his other players into play. Sets up positions well. And there's no shortage of ball carriers in that Taranaki side. They all love getting their hands on the ball. Beautiful throw from Harvey Fiver, taken by the captain, Fidu Douglas. If you look at that Waikato lineup, you can pretty much pick him. It's four, six, and eight. That's your line out targets. Uh, what up? It's a ball away to Damian McKenzie, and they are awake to the threat posed by him. Pick and go around the edge. Here's Fiver. Good defense on him from his opposite, Reese Marshall. Burn. Now out to Harwood. They're trying to find Sean Stevenson. Do so now. And a chip and chase play from him. Harwood chasing hard. And Kurt Baker easily away from him. Not so much the second. Good tackle made by Zane Capelli. And pressure on to Toirua Tahurio Rangi, who doesn't make a mistake. Damien McKenzie throws to himself. Weir. Disallowed try earlier for Regan Weir. Anton Leonard Brown now. He'll take play just short of the 22 again. Who's it? Chris Marshall ordered back on side. Damian McKenzie. And Lonnie Uhula slips a pass Seven. away to Harmi Fiver. Levian, quick service from him to Byrne. Now Capelli. Again, they stay left. Harwood. Missed the cut with Damian McKenzie and another penalty. Against Waikato, incorrect Thunder entry. And Damien and Marty having a fight. That's great to watch. I'm sure there's no love lost there on the field anyway. That's an early warm-up for Beaver. That shirt is way too loose. Here's the play. Yeah, great defence, Sumo. There it is there. The clean out. <laughs> Marty McKenzie was stoked after they gave him a tap on the back of the <laughs> Five, get in, please. Get out. They would have drawn each other crazy. Damien and Marty. His teammates at super rugby level. Well, we're at least. Not this year. Tahuri Urangi. It's probably a bit too long from him. And Sean Stevenson. Easy pickings. What Back now for Damien McKenzie. Picks out Marty McKenzie. McKenzie and McKenzie. Sounds like a country retailer. Matu Vainu. Halafihi. Big tour. Makes a couple of hard metres. They kick through again. He's trying to expose Waikato's backfield here. That was good work from Harwater back to Damien McKenzie. He kicks. And the kick is trapped, partially at least, by Charlie Ngartai. He tries to chip over the top. Taranaki, first there. They may have dibs on this on a turnover play. They do. Now Tahuri Orangi. Mitch Brown. They sit again. Waikato seem to have been starved of possession in this first half. We're already a quarter through. Marty McKenzie's kick goes nowhere. But again, Taranaki quick over the ball. It's pretty relentless stuff, Dowdy. Yeah, they're putting pressure on. Some of their kicks were, uh, like you say, a couple of aimless kicks, but what they do is when they kick the ball to Waikato, they put them under pressure. It's stuck in around the breakdown and cause another turnover. Well, it's obviously a direct 
game plan, isn't it, from Colin Cooper, whether it be through the grubber, the chip kick, or the long kicks from the back. They're just plugging the corners and just backing up this Waikato team, and they're just willing them, Taranaki, to run it out because they know they've got a young back line, this Waikato team. Reese Marshall finds his target, but it's loose, and he has to go back for it. It's about a wolf load. Pretty rough stuff with Cody Ray. And that's hacked Off through. Back to Mitchell Brown. And this kid has been good for Taranaki this season, especially on defence. 53 tackles heading into this match for Mitchell Brown. That was the most in the team. Tackle only. Davol. Big Gus takes it up over the 10 metre line. They come again. Marty found Charlie Ngartai. Clever kick from him, but it beats the lot. And we'll go to line out again. You'd have to say the service that Tohorangi is getting from his forwards is, is a bit sloppy. There's been a couple of line outs that have been slapped back, and uh, we saw a breakdown there. The ball comes spilling out. So the forwards really need to tidy up that ball they're giving their half back. It was a nice run, though, by the tight head Angus Ta'aval there. Dowdy got over the advantage line easy. I like it when he carries it nice and straight. Yeah, you'll find all these Taranaki boys love getting their hands on the ball. It's part of their game plan, which is great to see, you know. Quite often you, you limit your forwards when they get a carry. Levian tried to find a good touch and does so. That's a good clearance from Harrison Levian. A little settling play for him, KT. Yeah, well, the kid's actually captain. Hamilton boys a couple seasons ago won a couple of national titles went to the world championships as well so I know he hasn't played much footy at this level but he's a cool calm collected customer it's Harrison Levian Number off, part of a great Hamilton boys high team and Charlie Ngartai can't hold on they'll have a scrum rare mistake off from Ngartai and he won't be happy with himself He's shown some touches of real class just in the period that we played already, but that won't be uh, going down as his finest work. Because I reckon this combination with Charlie Natai and Seta Tamani Valu, the form, I've seen a combination in this competition at the moment. It's a tough pass in these conditions. Probably needs to get a bit closer there, Charlie. And what they haven't had, KT, that they had last year was the running game of Marty McKenzie. Coming into this tournament, I only seen him carry the ball for 57 metres. You'd expect that to be much higher like it was last season. Boom. What that does, Sumo, too, the defenders have to hold. That opens up holes outside him, so absolutely right. But a great attacking opportunity here for Waikato. Scrum goes down again. It hasn't been the greatest night for scrummaging. Great pressure, lads. Great pressure. There is some there real was, pressure um, in there, down. Yeah, there is. On the side of the scrum. No, no one's going to want to give him any inch, and uh, you go clean your boots, blame the ground. Look at the opposition. Look at this matchup on this near side of the field, though, brother on brother in first five position. Tanaki now just sending over an extra defender, and Charlie Natai. They'll have a go at each other. You reckon or what? Have to, wouldn't you? Right. If we don't get a free Six. kick or a penalty, it's a long bind from Mitch Graham. Look at him pulling down on that jersey of Honick, and it collapses again. There you go. Good that. work at Mitchell Graham. There you go. And he's got his bind up, and he's pulling down the elbow. And the referee in. this side of the scrum would be looking at that elbow and saying, when the elbow's bent, you know the scrum is not going to be stable. Yeah, well, they're quite right. I mean, but the thing is, what you, you look at the elbow, and the you don't often see what happens with the shoulder, and the shoulder is what gives it away. If you look at the side, he's getting his head underneath his chest, but it goes down on the, on the far side. It's Tottenham going down. Stay up, please. Go on here. Go on here. Go on here. I'm happy. Tananaki again. Just the 65 first half points this season. So, no, no. Their first 40s have not been convincing. Something that they have talked about. And again, we saw that last up for Taranaki. They stretched at the end of the match, but it was a real tussle against the Steamers early. Tahuri Orangi finds McKenzie, and again the ball slips out. Here's Bernie Hall getting away from a couple. And 
Graham this time loses the ball. And we'll go back to scrum unless we can make something of this advantage. Harwitter. Looking for a touch. Instead, picks out Vayino. Back in field for Baker. Oh, Black. McKenzie now. Plenty of time for Damien McKenzie. Oh, what? And again, it's Marty McKenzie. Can't hold on first time. And he will get on with the game. It's carried back. Ball to Cody Ray is not special. And Ray now. Heads downfield. Through the air to Sean Stevenson. The stars of the Auckland Grammar side just two years ago. Here goes Stevens. Stevens. Right up to the 22. And this one's through the hands and almost over the touchline. Capelli keeps it in field. Levian with a short ball. Uhila. Dragged down by Charlie Gato. Somehow the ball's popped out again and then again. We'll come back for the first knockoff. Yeah, I think that's going to be an area of concern for both sides. Just tidying up that, that ball retention, looking after the ball. But here we see Sean Stevenson catching the ball, deciding I'm going to pin my ears back. He's so dangerous. He's got very long legs and he'd be able to break a tackle. Well, he saw who was in front of him, the second row, Mitchell Brown. So they're going to have to get their kick chase in order if they're going to kick to Sean Stevenson because he will take that all day long. Bernie Hall, how good's he been in this first 40 minutes? No, he's been amazed. He is. He has been everywhere. He's a live wire and he's very, very explosive. Arguably the greatest slug in ITM Cup rugby in a long time as well. <laughs> ben Tommy Funa on the right. This is Blazer game today. He's turned up today in the famous Waikato bomber jacket. Gets to replace that with an official Blazer after the match. Rugby World Cup, remember, starts tomorrow, 6.45 a.m. England taking on Fiji. The opening ceremony ahead of that as well, if that's your cup of tea. Kids with flags and royals. That's my pick. Just while they're forming this up, have a shout out eh, to uh, Buddy Stevenson, who'll be watching this, or watching his grandson Sean Stevenson play. He's my first senior coach, actually. Suburbs his, man, was he? Suburbs man, and, and of course, Carla's father, who I played alongside, was an open side flanker. Bind! I'll tell you what, Sean Stevenson Six. is the closest thing running to Stephen Larkham I have seen in a long time. Same languid gait. That's a good infield ball. Back for Tahori Orangi. Now Marty McKenzie. Picks out his brother. This is getting monotonous. Stevenson again. He takes aim for touch. And he'll find a good one. Challing our tight. Just can't get there in time. Well, for such a young fella, John Stevenson, put a ring around his name. He's one you'll you'll know in a couple of years. He's only just turned 19. Set him up one. First year out of school. Oh, Have a look at the kicking meters in the game so far. We're nearing a K. There's one well-traveled ball. Here's Talval winding up. Take it on the 10 metre line. Cribs a couple of extra metres. Tahuri Orangi. And this one's gone too far from Triple T. They'll come back to the 10. Hey, uh, number one. I reckon this will be the last time we have that conversation, okay? You got me? Oh, we threatening to. Lonnie Uhila getting an airfall. Five of throws, taken by Tucker. Paint, set, and come again, Harwater. Just turns it back for Anton Leonard-Brown. He can't make any progress. Levian's there. They pick and roll. Finding some more wits now. Uhila with a great ball inside from Harwater. And Regan Wears dropped the ball this time. We'll have another scrum. 32 gone, 6-0 the score. Yeah, yeah, well, inaccuracies from both sides at this moment, Sumo. Probably the reason why this game really can't.
get out of second gear. I like this little impasse here, the no look. And here it is here, just a nice tackle over the top. A bit of deception there from this white cap back line. Yeah, you, you put a reason around the mistakes, and I think both teams, what they are doing is they're defending well. So, of course, that's going to create errors. And uh, there's such a thing as a positive error when you're having a go and you're trying to break the line, you're just not doing it. Of course, both teams muscled up on defence, which is good. Binds. Sit. There's the feed again. Mitchell Graham slipping underneath Josh Honick, but the ball is out. Shane McDermott keen to get on with this. Enough time wasted at scrum time, according to the referee. Now they kick through. And no real hustle for Cody Ray here as Dave Morgan. Bears down. It was already out of the scrum. You like that scrum from Waikato there, Dowdy? It's yeah, just a bit sloppy, really, wasn't it? I think Taranaki uh, oh, right left Mitchell Graham left his feet behind him. He should have followed up and a bit of a stumble, but Waikato came back well, went inside, put some pressure on. Shot of James Tucker there. Could be a busy week for James Tucker. More of that later. McKenzie. Good ball from him and Regan Ware. Ran a good line, just breaking the first tackle. Uhila. Roll three. Again, it was the front rows from Taranaki getting through their defensive work under Stavao on that occasion. It's there for Levian, but he's got to fight for it. Bernie Hall was not getting out of the way. And now Waikato have come up with another error at the breakdown. Marty McKenzie kicks her here. And this one evades his brother into touch. Yeah, well, that's just something you can't do. You're going to have to put numbers in on this uh, this Taranaki side. If you're going to put up, try and take on, have a slow ball, they're going to hustle you, they're going to turn you over, they're going to put pressure on you. And that's what they did. They caused a turnover. Again, it's Tucker. Standing at the back of the line out this time. Jordan Payne. Levian. Now with a charge with getting out of dodge. Cody Ray, the veteran, sparks the back line. Now Latu Vaino. Vaino, easy around a couple. Latu Vaino with a centering kick for Tahuri Urangi. He comes up with the ball. What a try! Surely Natai gets there. Surely. Well, that's up there, isn't it? That's a great try. Vienno having the wisdom to put the inside kick rather than kicking down the sideline. He sent it, put it in the middle. A great set of hands. It all started with Cody Ray, KT, who took the kick and decided, let's run this up. That sparked his back line. Latu Vainu showing great evasive technique. And then as Dowdy mentioned, the kick and field. We see the end of it here. Charlie Ngatai taken down there, still moving. You give that, surely. Well, he forced it three or four times, didn't he? And he was in control every time. What am I talking about? Who could possibly say? Yeah, he definitely got that. You have to say this gets on the base of the pad at the bottom hey, hey, there, hey. but he's still yeah. in control. He's right still in control there, there and he's, he's gone for a second second time. If it hits the base and it hits the pad, that's a try. Whether or not take the line out of the equation, if he has to hit the pad, well, he's still moving and he has rights to play the ball. And the try has been given, and Charlie Ngatai finishes a classic, an absolute classic. Like you say, Sumo. It all started from Cody Ray taking it back with a bit of vigor and they put it through their hands and then just the pure skill of Vienna on their wing for a big man throwing the dummy that was through the centering kick and then from there it's a nice work by the halfback Toiro Toirangi too also. Yeah they all had plenty of work to do here just looking at this just the kick infield great balance grid class. How often do you see them kick down the sideline? But this, that's so dangerous because everyone's running up midfield. Toyo Rangi, he did a lot of work to do before he got it to Charlie Natai. 
And Charlie Nartai, like we talked about, he's a class act. 13 points to nil now, the home side. Good take from Blake Thompson. Back for Bernie Hall. Bernie runs into Jordan Payne, no, no, up no. to the 10. Tahuri Orangi. Damien McKenzie comes forward, can't hold on. Advantage now for a Taranaki side that is getting into their mahi. Marty McKenzie to Ngato. Kurt Baker taking in the tackle of Capelli. Set the Tamani Valu. Five short of the 22 now. Taranaki hot on attack through Hall. He slips in the tackle. Three get out. Again. Look at those big boys getting through some defensive work and they'll need to do some more. Mitch Croswell leaves it. Kurt Baker. That's the 22 metre line at the top of your screen. White got it though. Jump ahead, out. get the goodies, concede the penalty. Ball wasn't out, took the halfback out. Yeah, still can't take the halfback out. Well, they're just under extreme pressure at the moment, aren't they, Sumo? Taranaki is starting to amp it up. They're just relentless with possession, and in the end, they have to give away an opportunity for three rather than what looked like potentially a seven. The way this Taranaki team are holding on to the ball. Well, they're going to go sideline, they're going for the jugulars. Well, you can just see the excitement factor in the Taranaki side. They've really woken up, they want to play. Here we see Tottenham getting the loose pass. And of course, just shifting the ball. Everyone wants to get in touch. Here we see Kurt Baker taking it into contact. And we look at the contact here. There's a clean out come from Taranaki. And of course, just coming around, you can't do that because... You have to wait until the halfback lifts the ball from the ground. So even though Tahuri Orangi put a hand on the ball, the ball was deemed not out. It's a vagary of the laws there. This one quickly away to Halafihi. He's caught just short of the line. They pick and go. Can they get there? Yes, they can. Oh. Senator Tamarivalu gets Taranaki's second. Well, he's, like I say, this team has woken up, haven't they? Halafihi, he's carried really well, really strongly tonight. He got close. But Setu Tamarivalu, he. He wanted to score, he wanted to dot down, he wanted that try. Here we see, look, look at Halafihi, number eight, off the back. Really, he, he put down, got within a metre. And Tamani Valu. Well, the impressive thing for me, Dowdy, is Tamani Valu's come all the way from centre to get himself involved in the play, and that's a sign of a confident player. Pops out here, and well, they're close to the line, who can stop him? He does it a lot of time on the loose, now he does it in tight. Good work there to Mani Valu. Yeah, that's a great pick on play from Halafihi. He's just picked on a rookie back uh, forward pack there, Dowdy. They're all set up for the drive. They're expecting the drive. Halafihi knows, knows this, and he's peeled away quickly before they can set their fringe. Yeah, no, it was very clever. And, of course, Tamani Valu saw that he was isolated. His forwards were still in the drive, so he came in because he had to come in. Got his hands on the ball, and as you do. Nice try. Been good tonight, Cody Ray from the tee, and uh, this one is good as well. The 20 is up for Taranaki with 25 seconds remaining in the half. Sit at Tamani Valak. Well, what a period. The last 10 minutes, really, Taranaki have just woken up, haven't they? They look exciting. They look like defending champions. Damien McKenzie with the restart, taken in by Halafi. Tor sets it up again. Tahuri Orani, Mitchell Croswell. Fights his way to the deck. Tahuri Orani kicks it into the grandstand, and Shane McDermott says that will do. Taranaki go into the break with a commanding lead. Cody Ray, two penalties. And converting two tries, one to Chalingatai, one to Sita Tamanivalu. And we will go downstairs and hear from the Waikato fullback, Damien McKenzie. Well, Damien, that first 40 minutes, you employed quite a lot. They did a lot of kicking. Yeah, you know, they did the, um, put the ball into the corners pretty well. So, um, you know, the second half, we'll just have to come out and I'll go into a bit of a win. We'll have to play a bit smarter and put the ball on the ground a bit more. And, you know, we just need to get, when we hold on to get the ball, we just need to hold on to it. I think at the moment we're 
making too many mistakes and we get into our attacking half, so um, hopefully we can change that in the second half. Right, good luck, eh? Cheers, mate. That's the word from Damien McKenzie. Tighten up is the message at the break. We'll take a short break here on Sky Sport. When we come back, all the analysis of the first half. Do stay with us. Welcome back to Yarrow Stadium, where the halftime entertainment is in full swing here. There are people in Zorbs playing football with a beach ball. Of course, there are the try scorers, Ngatai and Tamani Valu. And one disallowed try as well to Waikato. We'll get on to that. It's been an entertaining first half, and Taranaki got into their work. And Kurt Baker coming up with the error at the breakdown here. There it came off the knee. Of Fedu Douglas picked up Regan Ware broke one broke two clean race to the line TMO saying we'll come back that's a knock on yeah no that's that's uh, obviously the, that's the way the referee's gone but Ware when he got the ball he showed his class to get there and unfortunately that's a no try but gives Taranaki the opportunity here was Latu Vaino Cody Ray sparked the play from the back of a Waikato kick and then Latu with the infield Tahuri Orangi on the spot, looked up, saw the skipper, and Charlie Ngatai would not be stopped. Planted the ball by the post, Cody Ray would convert the score at that stage, 13 points to nil. And have a look at this from Toa Halafi. Peeled away from the drive before the drive started. And Johnny on the spot, set a Tamani Valu. Yeah, and that's what it's all about in the game of rugby. You get the, in those positions to be able to score the try. And of course, that three was. I think they'll be talking about tidying up the error rate for Waikato. Probably been too many errors from, from both sides, but uh, a sign of the right pressure. Well, it doesn't seem like there's been that much of a disparity between the sides in handling errors, but the minutes in opposition 22, tight as well. What yeah. about the kicking metres? Well, that, that goes the reason. The minutes in opposition is because there's been a lot of kicks, 22 kicks in play versus 15, and the tackles made. But it goes to show that Taranaki have got more ball because Waikato are making all the tackles. They certainly need to get their hands on the ball in the second half. That's certainly what Sean Bonaway and Carl Hoff will be telling their team in the sheds at the moment. We'll take another short break here on Sky Sport. Second half, Taranaki Waikato, the Ryan Wheeler Memorial right after this. Welcome back to Euro Stadium, Friday Night Footy, live on Sky Sport on the eve of Rugby World Cup 2015. But it's all about the provincial game here in New Zealand at the moment. Let's hear from Taranaki's assistant coach, Willie Rickards. Well, coach, a lot of kicking in their first half to try and turn them around. Yeah, probably kicked a bit too much, KT. We got in some good areas uh, in their half um, and just needed to be patient with the ball and, and uh, we're looking for grubbers and a few other things. So. We'll discuss that and probably look to play a bit more in that space. The last five minutes, the boys definitely played. They exploded for those two tries. Yeah, it was positive. Yeah, yeah. they started playing what's in front of them and um, and got the ball wide to Latu and Setter. So, uh, so it's positive. Another positive area was the defence outstanding in that first 40. Yeah, we really pumped that up at half time. We were under pressure there in that first half. And uh, I think we just seemed to have players on their feet. So that's uh, seen some good pitches from the box. Right, no, hopefully it was that brave heart speed you gave them before the half. You gave them a rev up for the second half. Good luck, hey? Thanks, KT. Cheers, mate. Willie Rickards, one of the most promising coaches in the game. Of course, a part of this Taranaki playing squad only a couple of seasons ago. Then cut his teeth in sevens rugby as a coach. He took sense. You good, Charlie? You're 100% right. Everything, he, he, he nailed it. He, he knows he's got a good, good, 
finger on, I suppose, the pulse of what's happening in front of him. Oh, there's a mistake early from James Tucker. Tahuri Urangi now. Taranagi swings straight onto attack. Ten seconds into the second half. Last thing Waikato needed to do after that halftime team talk was drop the kickoff. Ngatai held the ball up for Baker. It'll be interesting to see the kick mix now in the second half from Taranaki. It's a Waikato side that has shelled at least 100 points in second half play this season. So Taranaki will know there's some vulnerability in this defensive line. Marshall with a good ball. Tavo sets up for Tahuri Orangi who threw a pass to himself. That's greedy. Tamani Varu. 20 out from the line. They go again. Baker. Crosswell. Back for Tahuri Orangi. Blake Thompson. Positive start for the home side. Ngatai. Find some width on the pass for Crosswell. Back for Tahuri Orangi and back for Blake Thompson. It's the same characters. This is good rugby, Sumo. Mitch Graham now, great ball from him. Seta Tamani Valu charging. Can't get through the final line. Marty McKenzie turns it back for Ngata. Yeah, tackle play. Tackle and the play. ball is good. It's a turnover play by James Tucker. And Capelli trying to fight his way out of his own in goal. That'll be a five-meter scrum. Carry back. Sometimes you don't want a turnover on your goal. No, line. quite right. Well, James Tucker, he, he was a tackler. He got to his feet. He created the turnover. So he did his job. But apart from that, they couldn't quite clear it. And the Taranaki forwards held him up over, over the line. Here we just see the inside ball. The short ball for Tamani Valu. He's so strong. Let's go. And he got close there. What's well, is very, very good rugby from Taranaki, though. Being able to recycle the ball, there's the turnover. Tucker's got to his feet, he was a tackler. Of course, some places you don't want to get a turnover, and that was one of them. Taranaki, hot on attack again, five yards out. They're put into the scrum. Crown! Test of character here. Test of resilience. Burn! Test of steel. Harrison Levine watches on. Thank you, Gus Ledger, for correcting my pronunciation. And apologies to Harrison's family. Well, I'm seeing not enough. I just read everything on an auto cue. So I thought we might. I thought we might have learned. So you get our your lead. Well, That's a mistake, Dad. I thought you would have realised that after eight years. Less excuses, more action. Putting me in charge of anything is like putting a rabbit in charge of a Crouch! lettuce. Well, I'm quite happy. Levine's very easy to say. Sit! Didn't have to correct me on a public forum, Gus Ledger, but we'll get to that later. Good scrum. Good straight backs. Here he goes off the back again. Tua Halafihi has looked powerful tonight. A fantastic game. Blake Thompson now. Just one metre out from the Waikato line. Angus Talval picks up. They slipped in D. Shane McDermott try says try. As you do, when you're 125 kgs, you pick the ball up two metres out. That's your try. Angus Tarabell, great stuff, good work. He knows how to clap his hands too. Big Gus Tarabell. He has enjoyed the move to Taranaki. Last year, he was one of their players of the year, a great club man. And have a look at this. Look at the defensive set up here. They just slip away and... Here you'll see it. Yeah, maybe. They dropped out, and by the time Stevenson realised that there was no one covering the edge. Yeah, well, you don't want your winger there. You want your big, tight forwards in. No one came around. Stevenson dropped to go back onto the wing, but there was no one there quick enough to fill the gap, so Stevenson had to stay. That created the hole for Tottle Bell to get in. And he doesn't need much of a hole. He doesn't need a small hole. Yeah, well, he creates his own, doesn't he, Dowdy? But for me, I think he's in the form of his life at the moment. Angus Tarval did a great job at the scrum there, got out of that, and then got back into play. That's the thing, and he's made a number of nice runs today, getting well over the advantage on strong runs, and he deserves that try for sure. Got his two copper socks on as well. He'll be singing the cast iron chicken after this game, and Cody Ray nails that conversion.
Uh, we remember our tight forwards. They take a bit of time to come through. Top of our being a tight, tight head prop. He's just getting better and better and better. How's there no room for him in Auckland? How does that happen? Probably because there's 61 players <laughs> playing ITM <laughs> Cup out there somewhere that oh, originate true. from Auckland. That's true. Furthering his career offshore this year, of course. Start about next year. There's Tahuri Orangi now, under some pressure at the back. Ball was out, says the referee. Invitation for Honak to come through and pressure the half. Now Charlie Ngatai. Downfield to Damien McKenzie. And finally Waikato. Inside Talanaki's half. As McKenzie takes the contact. Oh, good than this, the McKenzie brothers. Hands. Gee, they're brave. They will run up, up, into up. anything. Hey, hey, they hey, punch up. that much hands, 15 on the ground. higher than their own body weight. And that's probably what Waikato need to do because this is what Taranaki have done. They've pinned their ears back and, and gone for it. Put the kicking game away. Because ultimately, you're going to have to run if you want to score a try. They go for the corner there. 25 points, 27 points down. Waikato just needs something to show for the effort here. There he is. Suspect around about 20, 25 minutes from Stephen Donald tonight. Got a taste last week. Back for his first provincial game since 2011. Had quite a big year that year. This is much better stuff from Waikato. They're starting to roll their sleeves up. The big men are getting involved. Vantage not rolling four. They have the penalty advantage, and James Tucker advances the play. Levine can't get the ball out. Now can't extricate himself. So Damien McKenzie takes over. What's he doing? That's his brother, too. What's happened there? He's just throwing a ball at his brother's head. One of them's going to be on the naughty stairs very soon. Where is Mum McKenzie? How does that even happen in a professional game of rugby? That's just brilliant. Hey, um, I don't need that from him. There's nothing in this, so we're going to play on with a penalty for four. I would just love to see Mrs McKenzie run onto the field, tell them both off. With an umbrella. How's that? <laughs> Not rolling four. Damien McKenzie. I think he's trying not to laugh. Damien McKenzie finds touch. Have a look at this. Gets the ball. Marty comes in. And Damien just tries to scone him in the face. No, he's supposed to throw the ball at Honek. Even though he's his own player, he's got to look after his brother. They come around the corner now, Fidu Douglas. Around the front of the line out. And a pick and drive play. Look at the work over the ball from Mitch Graham. They are disrupting everything tonight, Taranaki, and they win the penalty for holding on. That is superb defence from the Amber and Blacks. There's not a lot of love lost here. Bit of pushing going back and forth. So we had 48 minutes of a pretty good game. A um, little bit of talk starting to tip on each other. Let's play rugby yep. and let that do the talking instead of each other. No, no, you tell them now. We're playing on with the penalty. No, sort it. No, no. You tell them on the go, Charlie, please. We're playing on. <laughs> Holding on. It's back in here. Four black on his feet. Thank you. Well, a very simple message. Sort it out, guys. Let's get on with the game. Oh, I, just, I hope it stays this way. There's some great niggle out there. I think the thing is, Waikato realise that they've been out bullied at the moment, so they need to get more physical, they need to get amongst it. So you're right, Sumo, they just keep going the same course. The referee can't send 15 of them off. Who throws a ball at a guy's head? Your brother. Who's your brother? Mind you, I'd throw a ball at my brother's head, in fairness. Here's Angus Taobal. Now Tahuri Orangi. Clears downfield. Only as far as Sean Stevenson. Looks up and sees Damien McKenzie. And McKenzie, of course, looks up and decides to take on the world. Back for Levine. Oh, Harwitter. Freehold. 
Wait. Wait. His kick only goes as far as Kurt Baker. Takes a fair catch and calls for it. Hold, hold, and then turns and fires one downfield where Harwood had dropped back. Damien McKenzie again. They have to chase this. May have drifted a little too far for him. Tahuri Orangi. Pop the pass up for Vainu. And he offloads in the tackle to set a Tamani Valu. David Morgan does his best to hold on to a jumper. Tahuri Orangi again. Marty McKenzie feeds Ngata. Some big contact between him and Uhila. And look at the drive from Charlie Ngata. Unfortunately, comes up with the error. Yeah, no, oh, there's a, a little bit going on there that wasn't push. And I think uh, this might go upstairs. Yeah, Huila here. Time off. He's aggressive, but he just needs to control yeah, it. He's the one that put the nice hit on can we, initially on Charlie Nartai, but this is just silly. Can we just remove ourselves away? Well, Huila had already been talked to in the first half the by the referee. Please? So yeah, he's playing with fire. This if this has made contact. And there is a, a assistant referee report. Well, I can't see how this is going to work. I don't know what started it on the floor. Yeah. But I've seen the white one. Yeah. Throwing what looks like punches to the so head. So check it. We need to look at this. Okay. So time off, TMO. We're looking for foul play. Think, a potential uh, punch by a white player on the black player on the ground. White one. Well, it's been a niggly old game. There's been plenty off the ball. But KT mentioned the word bullying, and that's what Taranaki has done to this young Waikato pack tonight. And Lonnie Uhila, his cheese may have slipped off the cracker here. Yeah, he got on the tackle. He wrapped himself around the ball, and he rips the ball out. But what happens here and after? Nardai pulls his pants he down. He pulls him down, and watch now. Boom, boom. Short jab from Uhila. Isn't that? There's nothing wrong with aggression, but just plain old stupidness. Well, yeah, pushing and pulling. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, Natai has given him a first short arm, and then Uhila's replied with three to the face. To be fair to Uhila, I think he's missed everything, to be honest. I can't see on the screen at all. Missed, missed. They're oh, oh, not playing it out here. Nothing. Keep it going. Move on. I've... Well, it may have been sheer panic on the part of Charlie Natai when he saw... Who heal his bare bottom descending on his head. Yeah. He's gone for a concussion test. This might be some gamesmanship here from Taranaki. You're saying penalty only? Well, this is where a few years ago they had the white card. You're not quite sure. Number Let's one. get on with the game and leave it for later and we'll sort it out with the judiciary system. Well, I couldn't see, we obviously couldn't see anything. What I've heard from the sideline on there is that you have attempted to make punches on the other player. Don't shake your head at me. So at this stage, it's a penalty. We haven't got a clear sight of you actually connecting him. So it's a penalty here. Can I only take what I've got from the picture? Sorry, lads. Lonnie Uhela escapes the yellow card. Probably lucky in the context of modern footy. Well, let's look at it. It's 27-0. I'm pretty sure that's going to go to the judiciary system next week, and uh, I'll be surprised if he's playing the week after. But for the here and now, if you can't make the right call, let's Five get on with the game. Subs. Number two, Lonnie Uhila. A couple of changes here for Taranaki lads. Uh, Reese Marshall's making way for All Black Hicker Elliott in Jersey 16 and on in Jersey 22, also for Taranaki. Sean Wainui. Place Charlie Nato, obviously. Hold him. Come on. Hicker Elliott fought so hard for an All Blacks recall inside the camp and was cut for the Rugby World Cup. I know how disappointing that has been for him. And he threw his hat in with Taranaki for the season. And you can bet you'll get 30 good minutes out of him as he takes his first carry of the evening. Sean Wainui, we know how dangerous he can be. Picked up by Crosswell. Elliot is there again. This time he bridges and the ball out for Tahuri Orangi. And here is Wainui trying to get on the outside. 
Back for Tahuri Orangi. Franzangas Tavo. One try for him tonight. They come again. Wainui standing in close. Tavo. We're on a loop. Ball's out. Ball's out. And the ball is out. And James Tucker says, I'll help myself. Well, Thanks for out. coming. Good run from James Tucker. He's carried for plenty of metres so far this season. Had 83 metres off nine carries against Southland alone last week. We've got a couple of turnovers tonight too. Baker. Stevenson. Inside hold, what? He returns fire and McKenzie waits. Not many kicks have gone to grass tonight. That's one of the issues with the kicking game from both sides. Too easy for the defensive team to take on the full. And there's the mistake. We'll come back and Waikato will have field position on the scrum. Yeah, Nicole, you're quite right. But with the kicking, if it goes to hand. All we've got a game is a game of uh, force back going on, but some some big punters not, not cashing in on the territory. And just an update from the sideline: Les Charlie Nartai's gone for the night. Okay, you are skipping now. Yes, thank you. Well, if anything, if Nartai's gone for the night. You can have to assume that's not going to work in Ahula's favour. Space boys. Oh, get him on. Look at him. What's the warm-up clock at for Stephen Donald this week? We had 19 minutes last week. Surely he's gone for at least 15. Bang! Kicks regathered. Set! One. Out of 45 kicks tonight. Kicks regathered. One. Lots of move, lots of movement, gentlemen. We need stability, remember? Stability. Yep. Tommy Funner's here. Discuss. Would that kick be regathered, the one that uh, Charlie Naitoy scored from, possibly? Correct. Craig Depp. Correct. Go. Sorry, the brain was just ticking away there. Crouch! You didn't hear the ticking noise, did you? Bones! You heard something. Six. Living. Stay, stay, stay. Feeds the scrum. Burn peels off. That's good ball to work with. Harwood up. Now a second man for Damien McKenzie. Out to Sean Stevenson. And he is well covered and put into touch before he got rid of the ball. But that went forward. Great defensive play, KT. Yeah, outstanding defensive play there. Sean Stevenson just a shake of the head. But uh, multiple changes here for uh, for Waikato on in Jersey 16. There's Tyron to Luruku, 17 Atu Mole, and 18 Big Ben Tommy Afuna. Tyrone to Luruku debuted last week against South and scored a try too, but it was disallowed on a double movement. And Big Ben plays his blazer game tonight. Congratulations, Tama. Always a great achievement. And Beaver Donald starts pointing at things. <laughs> Sorry, Simo, I was just about to say the big man's just run on the 22. And also Dylan Collier has come on for uh, the inside centre, Jordan Payne. Dylan Collier, of course, replaced in the lineup by Sean Stevenson on the left wing today. <laughs> Good stuff. It's been a busy night for Jordan Payne. <laughs> An envy man marking up on Charlie Ngartai. There he is. Had a couple of tackles last week. I don't think he touched the ball in his comeback match. Sit. So I can't do much with the again. Scrums have been a bit of an issue this evening. Yeah, well, when you get fresh legs on. You see you're the prop staying on the year, claps it and then blame that guy because they've been going okay. Hope to milk a penalty. Didn't happen. You worry about your job, I went straight to the ref, assistant referee, trying to trying to claim it. I will say this. Crouch! There's no rugby game I know that is not improved by the introduction of a brass band in the crowd. Sit! Great touch. From the Taranaki crowd. It's a man with a tuba. Here's Cody Ray, straight away off his wing. And they'll come again, Marty McKenzie. Decides on the kick. Oh, 
Chopping back for this is McKenzie. Takes it. No call for the fair catch. And this one off the left foot. Drifts into touch. Just a couple of changes coming up for Waikato here. Sumo on in jersey 17. There's Ratione Lea. Also in jersey 21. Uh, Kyle McDonald, he's replacing uh, Tohu Roidangi and Mitchell Graham, respectively. Great night from him, KT. Te Toiroa. Yeah, he's been good, especially with those box kicks. His direction in and around those rucks, he's outstanding. That young kid, look for him in the future also. Levine now finds Damien McKenzie. There's Donald. Pops on a Gary Freeman esque ball to Sean Stevenson. Flicked it on rugby league stuff. Now Waikato throwing some bodies at this Taranaki defensive line. Levine again. Dami Funa. Back off. And he held the pass up. And they weren't expecting it to come. No big bend from your Funa, mate. You just hang on to it, tuck the ball, and knock over a few uh, defenders. 150 kgs he's wearing in it today. Easy buck 50. Yeah, I got chatting to Karl Hoff before kickoff. He might be back on the bike midweek. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, waiting for you guys to get into a scrum. Yeah. Here's the confusion. It's all set up, and Teruruku just not quite accepting the ball. In fact, I think the one was supposed to release out in the back. Yeah, he's got an 18 on his back today. He probably thinks that uh, that might put him in the back line, but he's used to having either number three or one. Crouch! Kyla O'Donnell, of course, started the season Six. with Waikato. But didn't have a full Provincial Union contract, and when Jamison Gibson Park was invalid out of the season, Taranaki picked him up. So O'Donnell. Harrison Levine. Again, some confusion behind the breakdown for Waikato. Breakdown turnovers. Yeah, it's just the numbers, you know. If you're going to go to ground that easy, you're going to you're going to need players to back you up, especially the way Taranaki compete really hard at the breakdown. Let's go. Something is probably what let way to Kato down tonight. Boys, who's better? Same again, okay? You see Levine making a, a good break. The arriving Waikato players all losing their feet. That, that gives the opportunity for the Taranaki defenders to come in. And of course, that's not a great uh, clean out there. Fines! Sit! Elbow on the ground. Further scrum penalty. Play here, 17. Elbow on the ground. And that one against Tatu Morley. There's no arguments with that. He just turns and he knows. Twenty-seven nil as we head into the final quarter of this match. And Taranaki will be pleased that they managed to put a complete first half on the paddock. First of all, Dowdy. Second half, while it's been scrappy, they haven't looked under pressure at all from this Waikato attack. Yeah, I think they they know they need to get the territory. Here's the ball from O'Donnell. It's a good one. Pass out in front, but that ball from Sita Tamani Valo just drifting high. Waikato kick ahead, but all for naught. It's gone into touch. Well, I think KT touched on it too. The way that Waikato have come out in the second yeah. half, they've really muscled up and, and, and they've said they're not going to be bullied anymore. And they've stood up to the Taranaki forwards, which is which has worked in their favour. Again, the ball from O'Donnell. Quite as quick as he is to left, left to right. Here's Cody Ray. It's been everything you need from the right winger tonight, Cody Ray, and he's kicked his goals. Good strength showing too. Pretty well and good support as Kyler O'Donnell tries to sneak a couple of easy metres and steady foots a foot in touch. And that was good hustle defence from Waikato. They weren't going to take it. Three, three, six, space, space, space. Yeah. Cody Ray took the ball on the Waikato push, push. players. They held him up. Put him under pressure. 
We go quick at line out time. This one knocked down. Back. Harrison Levine finds Damian McKenzie. There again, McKenzie puts the kick ahead. This one straight into the hands of Latu Vainor. And that's not a good move. Center to Manivalo in field. There's the try to Sean Wainui. Taranaki have their bonus point. Well, you just felt it was coming, didn't you? The pressure from Taranaki. Thirty-two up for Taranaki, and again, Latu Vaino involved in the play. Kaltanana. Oh, yeah, it was a nothing kick from nothing kick from McKenzie. Pushes it through it. But look at this fellow here, Vaino. Steps through, run, brushes off two, and gets rid of a third. And then look at the vision there by Tamani Vaino to give it inside to the replacement, Sean Wainui. And he knows right there, there's the five or well, four points, a bonus point anyway. But outstanding. Well, what a night this has been when you consider last year Latu Vainu was playing for Rotorua Boys High School. Sean Stevenson, Auckland Grammar School. Sean Wainui, New Zealand under 20. Titoirua Tahuri Orangi, New Zealand under 20. Harrison Levine, New Zealand under 20. And they've all starred tonight. Yeah, though they say part of coaching is the selection. And Colin Cooper, he's got his finger on the pulse. He knows six. what's coming through. Seven and six. Seven. Just some touches of class there. Cody Ray again, perfect night oh, for him. Just, that was the kick from Damian McKenzie. It just seemed like there were no other options for him. Set at Tamani Valu. Yeah, himself was here, Tamani Valu. Probably could have scored that himself, but a couple more changes for Waikato. Yeah, go. 18 and 9. Oh, oh, sorry. 14, 14. 28 and 19. 14. Uh, Josh Tyrell, Murray, Iti are on. And also, Bernie Hall's night is over. He's been replaced by uh, Lachlan Boshi and Juicy 20. Had a good night tonight, Bernie Hall. Oh, oh, has he? What? Just rugged. Just what they need. Murray Eti, his fourth game. Just 122 minutes for him. 68% tackling for Murray Eti this season, and that'll be something he'll want to work on tonight. He might get the chance to, the way Taranaki are approaching their game. 34 points to nil, they lead. Lachlan Boshia replaces the impressive place. Bernie Hall and Cody Ray gets a well-earned break. Interesting to see who will take the shots. Damien McKenzie, uh, in fact, Marty McKenzie may line back up. Just wonder if he's at 100% kicking. Levine finds Damien McKenzie. They call an Anton Leonard Brown. Back for Levine. James Tucker. He gets looked after. And up to the 22 they go. Waikato now. Limited opportunities in this second half. Against a stern defence. Matami Funa. Taken in by Hickory Elliott. Support from Blade Thompson. Home four. Levine. McKenzie, Donald ran a dummy line. Still there for Levine. And it looks on now. And the ball has gone loose. Flung in the tackle, but flung four. Well, that's a get out of jail card Knock there for Waikato. If they've picked that ball up and secured it, they've been away. Knock on White, then forward, so we'll come back here for the scrum. Sorry, Levine um, made the first knock on. They just seem to be threatening every time they have ball in hand, aren't they? This Taranaki team at the moment really taking it to another gear. And at the moment, Waikato, they just can't stick with them. And on in jersey 21 for Waikato, Johnny Malo. Yeah, just look at the breakdown. There's, there's actually no no one in front of Levine there. He's got pressure put on him. Because, yeah, just not being able to get that pass away. Get a pill, please. Like you said, though, Daddy, it's just all way to numbers. I thought they've got to just send more into that contact area. They drawing at each other, are they? Yeah. Well, go on. There you go. Oh, go on, Tim. So good. Ha! You reckon Tim's going to hit it up? Crouch! Just arguing about who's getting the former ITM Cup bubblegum collector's cards. Sit! Scrum goes down again. Been a common theme. 
Reserves, no reserves. Starters, no starters. Kenzie. Over here. Dishes the dirt on his brother to Kyla O'Donnell. So he's run up the left hand side. Tyrone Teruruku. Crouch! 65 minutes Boys! at the Arrow Stadium as the brass band sparks up again. Sit. In fairness to them, they only have three songs, but they play them well. Halafihi off the back again. More solid work from the number eight. Marty McKenzie, chip over the top as he saw the line rushing. And then some confusion between John O'Malo and Harrison Levine. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big mistake, and it's given Taranaki the opportunity to get back in the territory they want to be with the ball in hand. Yeah, and there's the very impressive number eight, Tor Halafi. You spoke about him. Sumo may have been great with his runs tonight. His carries, he's been in replacing jersey 19 by Ricky Huerta. Well, I've been very impressed with Halafi. He's had a great game. He's, he's carried some fantastic ball off the back of that scrum. Given them go forward, got them close, for, and given the opportunity for the likes of Tommy Avalo to score try and uh, Tova. Imagine a full house here, sitting behind the guy with the tube. He'd be gutted. You turn up with your recorder, he'd be gutted. <laughs> oh, recorders. That is the devil's instrument. What's the one thrown across the touch line? Yeah. What's that about the recorder? Playing on, happy. Not forms. We carry on. Waikato now, trying to run it from Watch everywhere. Out. In fact, Mullel takes a departure from the script and kicks it straight down to the throat. Latu Vainu. Back now for Damian McKenzie. He takes off. Runs a big parabola. Sees it to Mani Valo and gets rid of it. Quick smart. Anton Leonard Brown. Kelly. All floats and they work their way up to the halfway line. Release! Ball is there, but it's achingly slow. Molly. All our please. And there's Donald. Takes his first hit up, up to the half. Back for Levine. He'll have to go the full 80. No choice now. Marla was on the field as half that cover. And he's already covering hey, someone leave, else. Leave, 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 and we'll take the penalty. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, hey, I think hey. you touched on a really key point as we get a bit of push and shove. And Stephen Not Donald rolling. sees something wide, he wants Maybe to get it wide. Hey, pick what, where are you? Damian McKenzie finds Anton Leonard Brown. Turnover Runs for a hole that wasn't there as the rain comes down and another turnover play. 17 turnovers becomes 18 against Waikato. Mullo waits for the cavalry to arrive Not and finally it does. Right, Sit at the money value, Leonard. flopped on the ball. Not on the mark, first. Not supporting body weight, 13. Jeez, I thought he'd done this perfectly here, Sumo to Manivalu. Jeez, he's been impressive tonight. His rugby awareness is something probably you don't think of too much with his kicks. He's so explosive with the ball in hand. Time three. Well, it's three. Let's Coming. say this as well. I mean, losing Brad Weber before the game, that is a massive dent. And your attack options roll, take nothing away from Levine, but a first start, 10 minutes of IDM That's Cup awesome. rugby before this match. Brad Weber, arguably your best player and co captain. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be putting the onus on the forwards. They haven't really given the protection that Levine needed tonight to be able to get a nice quick ball. Oh, God, well, God. they haven't had the angriest halfback in the world yelling at them all day either. That always works. I hope you're feeling better, Brad. I know you'll be watching. I called him Joe Weaver once and I got a phone call from him. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, Joe. Take a It's a perfect half pack for this team. And perfect for resting a pint on as well. Beaver Donald. It's the ball away to Collier. Now Big Ben. Oh, Tubber. Steps out of one. 
and rolls down the park. Collected no moss as Mitch Croswell sets it up again for Levine. Now McKenzie saw the gap, Damien McKenzie. It's inside the 22 they go, Levine. Now to the right hand, it's now. Teruduku set the ball. Tucker comes looking for work. Meets a big shoulder from Ricky Hoyata. Anton Leonard Brown. McKenzie. This time the ball goes inside. Adam Burn. to be cleared quickly. Hold on. Well, what about the airtime from Ben Tommy of Funa? Damien McKenzie looks for touch. 71 gone. And there's a stat for you. Waikato has not been held scoreless in an NPC match since Auckland beat them 39 zip in 1985. That is 200 and 99 matches straight and that's when you take the shot at goal <laughs> just to keep your pants up <laughs> that's not what they're doing i am pretty sure that none of these players know that stat and half of them weren't born in 1985. collier five out from the line as the mulus look to salvage some pride out of this performance Teruduku can't get their ball stripped. Again, Taranaki defend their line. Good by your player. Line out, white ball. Oh, he's given the line out, white ball. He's saying it was... No, there's two from each of you gentlemen, so we'll play the line out, eh? He's saying Taranaki stripped it, which he did, but normally you, you see that as a knock-on. Let's go, white. He's given the line out back oh, to white nice Kato, so that's pretty important. Let's go. It's a, it's a pretty... Now, Paul Nazer, just going back to that stat, Stephen Donnell is the only person in this team alive the last time Waikato was held scoreless. That is ridiculous. Tucker and a penalty as they join the mall in front of the ball carrier. There you go. We talked about defending the driven mall. If everyone does it together and everyone knows what's going on, that's how you work it. Got that, Mike Cron? Steve Hansen. Tipping down here at Yarrow Stadium. It's threatened to be a clear night in Taranaki, and then they remembered it was a rugby game here. As yes, we see them all again. Yeah, we see Taranaki just stand off. They leave it. Now oh, he's tried to collapse it. He did touch it. So uh, well, it's the player in Jersey 19, Josh Tyrrell. You saw him run in front. James Tucker, the ball carrier. Tyrell, should I say. O'Donnell. Gets this one downfield, only as far as Dylan Collier. Takes play up to the halfway stripe. They come again, left-hand side this time for Waikato. Teruruku, fed it up to Atu Morley. A very talented player. Two. Tamifuna with a short ball. Cut down. It was Murray Eti. Tom Leonard Brown, John Muddle. Comes in from the back. Looking for workers, Tucker, who had to reach down and pick up a pass that rolled along the deck. McKenzie. And Donald drops the ball, looked to hack it ahead, cleaned up by Marty McKenzie. And this one kicked downfield, the chase line comes. And they'll kick to touch. Waikato getting themselves out of a hole, but they just can't make yards on this Taranaki D. No, and it, it, it comes down to the breakdown. We see a, a nice break there, but there's the, the drop ball, not quite going to hand. I'm counting sort of three, four seconds, every breakdown from Waikato, which is too slow. Taranaki are getting their defensive line formed, and they're putting hey, pressure hey. on them. Get over there. Wait till he's ready to throw it, and then we'll sort it out. Oh, 
Slade Thompson brings it down. Set it to Marty Valu. He's back on a big angle. Again over the ball, that's good work. Holding on, let it go, let it Murray go. Eddy comes up Fearless. with a turnover play. Quick tap from Damian McKenzie. Tyrell hold, hold, hold. sets the play for Levine. Now Tommy Funer again. And they converge on him, Blake Thompson and Ricky Huyata. Here is Donald. And Donald runs a shepherd. Headgear, number eight, obstruction. Take Adam Byrne, the player involved. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, if you're going to make a lot of mistakes, make them all in one game. <laughs> yes, here we are, four minutes to go. The uh, coach's box is saying, guys, you get a penalty, let's just take the shot. Same that, a long way to go. Well, I think tonight, uh, tonight too, lads, what's really stood out for mine is the experience of this Taranaki team. We've got to remember other defending champs have got a lot of players that have played a lot of football under their belts coming across a young team for Waikato. Still got a lot to learn. Yep, sure, they've got a lot of promise and young stars, but this is at the top level, the difference. Sean Stevenson. A couple of tissues snuffed up the herder. And Taranaki with four tries already in the game, looking for a fifth. Result beyond doubt. Waikato just have not been able to get themselves on the score sheet tonight. And put that down to some fairly robust defence. Have a look at the one-on-one -on -one strip from Tommy Funa. Comes to nothing though as the penalty is conceded. Yeah, in the side. Yeah, it came in the side. Taranaki took their time actually and uh, Picker Elliott held the ball at the back. Waikato flag came from around the side and made the tackle, which you just can't do. Marty McKenzie kicks for the corner. Yeah. No doubt we'll see another drive, I'd imagine. Can't do that, man. Positive, the lads. Two metres As they set the please. drive in the first half and then quickly peeled off before the Waikato defence could adjust. See that Tamani Valu involved in the call. Taken down by Huyata. Bet your bottom dollar that Hector Elliott will want to hold on to this. And he has it at the back of the mall. He needs to shift that ball back. One more. No, he's, he's going to go. go all the way. Hector Elliott over the line. Shane McDermott slips down. And he'll have to have a look. This is a tough one. This is where you want the referee to be in the right position because quite often you can't get a camera angle on this. Time off. Even though you know, more than likely, he probably did score it. Well, it was never going to leave his uh, hands. Robert, yeah. Can you that give much me a reason to not award this try, please? Shane McDermott's question is, can you give me a reason not to award the try, which would suggest that he's almost convinced it happened. You'd have to have a Waikato body underneath the ball. I don't think there was. Yes, thank you. You see him come through. Well, there's the ball on the line, just at the left of your screen. And the, uh, the Taranaki bodies around him. I've asked for a reason not to award it because. Yeah, I'd have to say that's a that's a try. Because yeah, yes. there isn't a Waikato player within Kiwi. Oh? Well, whatever it is, yeah. Do you think one of his own Taranaki players will want to hold him up? I've asked her to give me a reason, so different question. Yeah, so we don't want the TMO to hear to say he can't see it. Well, if he does say that, the answer will have to be I can give you no reason not to award the try. That is the protocol we are following here. And we are leaning towards common sense, yeah, hopefully. Mate. Try is awarded. Hecker Elliott gets Taranaki's fifth of the evening. 39 points, and the smile says it all. Once the ball went back to the hooker, he was never giving it up. He had that, he had that ball tucked, and he's quite right. Anyone that got near it, pretty much leave it alone. It's my try. The most complete performance of the season 
from the defending champions. As Marty McKenzie lines up his first of the evening. Cody Ray with a perfect night from the tee. Looks good. It's good. Five converted tries and two penalties. 41 points to nil. And for the first time since 2000, Taranaki defeat Waikato on their home deck. Well, been just a bit too much polish, hasn't it, Sumo, from this Taranaki team really amped it up when they needed to. And, well, Backwards. no one can argue with that point score, or oh, that score line. Well, it now stands at the moment, at least, as a record margin in this fixture. 46-7 last year. 46-17, should I say, was the record which was set last year. And they've blown that out of the water. Here's Wainu. As the siren sounds at Yarrow Stadium, Hicker Elliott with a final touch for him. And this one surely goes into the grandstand. No, Tamani Valu says, let's keep going. It's so much fun. Why not? Hold out, what? That is a sporting play from Seta Tamani Valu. Murray Eady comes over the top looking for a turnover. Can't get it. There you go! Kyla O'Donnell. This time, Tamani Valu says, oh! Yeah, he wanted to do that the first time. That's right. The game is over. Reese Marshall is happy. A record-breaking performance tonight from Taranaki and the Ryan Wheeler Memorial Cup. Something that both of these teams love. We'll be in the cabinet here at Yarrow Stadium. A big performance. And Taranaki back to their best. Thirty years it has been since Waikato have been held scoreless in a provincial match. That was 299 games ago. Well, you're going to have to say that for the attack coach and the defence coach, have got a stalemate tonight. They've both done very well for the Taranaki side. Of course, it's back to the drawing board for Waikato. Right, let's go and hear from one of the victors tonight. It's Blade Thompson standing by with Carl Tenana. Well, Blade, firstly, congratulations on what a staunch win that was. 41-0, outstanding. Yeah, cheers, mate. We, uh, we come into it. Uh, Knowing that we had the wrong wheel on the on the line, and uh, Coops and uh, the rest of the um, the staff got pretty emotional, so uh, the, the, that was the, the main thing we had to play for tonight. I suppose the most pleasing thing is keeping them to zero. Outstanding defence. Yeah, we've, we've worked hard on it. A uh, bit shaky at the start of the season, but um, yeah, it seems we're we're sort of getting there. Total or complete performance tonight. Congratulations, eh? Sweet, cheers, boss. Now, Fetu, I know obviously commiserations, mate. She was pretty physical. Yeah, uh, we planned for that, um, but obviously uh, Taranaki got up in our face and um, didn't let us run at all. It just seemed that the back end of that first half when they got their two tries, they just got you on the back foot? Yeah, and we talked about that. We tried to take the pressure off ourselves and try to play a bit of territory, uh, but we made a couple of mistakes in our own half and Taranaki were able to just get out of their half um, too easily. I suppose one pleasing thing for this game in that second half, you really amped up the physical nature of your side and you stood up to them and, you know, you sort of got back into the, into, into the game. Uh, that was the plan, but uh, that zero donut um, sort of shows that we needed to be a bit more physical and um, sort of tighten up our defence. Um, and, I mean, take, we've got to take a bit of pressure off ourselves and... Um, Going into Canterbury and Wellington and the likes, uh, we've got to sharpen up and get a bit more physical. Good luck for those ones, eh? Cheers, thank you. What can you say, Fidu Douglas? Obviously disappointed with his team's effort tonight. Take nothing away, though, from the home side. On Friday night footy, Taranaki have found their mojo. 41 points to nil, full time here in Taranaki.
Friday night football and Waikato have been downtrailed here at Yarrow Stadium. 41 zip, the final score, an impressive performance from the Amber and Blacks this evening as they take care of the fans here on the deck. Sit at the Marnie Valley on the score sheet tonight. But tonight is done and dusted, and a Rugby World Cup starts tomorrow. Opening ceremony at 6 a.m., followed by England taking on Fiji. And don't forget Monday, 3.20, I'll be there in studio with Izzy Dagg and Christian Cullen as the All Blacks start their campaign. From New Plymouth, though, tonight, from all of us at Sky Sport, have a great and safe evening. The 2015 ITM Cup was proudly brought to you by the Tui Brewery.